Brian's favourite walk again, Salt Dean to Brighton. Conditions are quite rough today, so I see they've got the red flags out, which means no swimming. This is where we're headed to Brighton Marina and today we're going to go into Nando's because I'm on the keto diet. These kids love playing on these rocks but there's some big gaps between them and only the other day a man got trapped and had to be rescued. Punctures can be quite common along here because of the sharp flints. This is Ovingdean and we sometimes stop here on the way back for a cup of tea or an ice cream. This is heartening. I always love it when I see children being taught photography by their parents. Now we've reached Rottingdean, which is a small seaside village just outside Brighton, and the red flags are still flying. There are well-equipped lifeguards at all the various beach access points between Salt Dean and Brighton. Whenever we come walking here, I always know I'm going to satisfy my dog fix. I love dogs and I love watching them let their hair down. Stormy seas means the surfers get a chance to come out to play. But unfortunately our waves are nowhere near as big as those in other parts of the world. I wonder what he's thinking. As you can see, we don't do sand here, we do huge pebbles. We kept leapfrogging this family on our walk and I got quite a few clips of the kids having fun. Whenever I catch something like that, I always ask the parents if they would like me to email them the clip. fancy getting an electric one of these. The whole place is falling to bits. The walk from Salt Dean to Brighton return is about six miles. Being a member of the EU, cost our fishing fleet dear, as foreign trawlers took most of the fish, so there's only a small contingent of fishermen left in Brighton. One day, Carol and I should try these hire bikes, as we often see people riding up and down. This fella has already had his lunch, so now it's time for us, we're arriving at Nando's, and I'm looking forward to it.
I don't think Nando's is very big in the US. So if you haven't heard about it, it's a restaurant that serves peri peri chicken. enjoyed this walk and the food was excellent but all good things come to an end and it's time to say goodbye <laughs>